For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now we're gonna do this problem that says the bearing consists of rollers symmetrically confined within the housing. The bottom one is subjected to a 125 newton force right here at its contact A due to the load on the shaft. Determine the normal reactions of B and C on the bearing at its contact points B and C. Okay, so basically we got this ball. Let me redraw it right here. And we got a normal force and C. Normal means that this angle is 90 degrees and this angle is 90 degrees. We got a force going straight up of 125 newtons and we got a force going straight horizontally to the right of mb they want you to 5 mb and nc very easy also they tell you that this angle is 40 degrees all right so if this angle is 40 degrees and this is a 90 degree angle this angle is 50 degrees because the sum of the three angles inside a triangle is 180 so we can figure out this one's 50 right off the bat what does that mean I'm going to redraw this um, diagram, free body diagram, so you can, it, the problem will become uh, much obvious. So we got the start, this is the origin. We connect the tails of the vectors, and we got this 125 Newton force right here. This is NC, and NB is going straight to the right. And you know that this angle is 50 degrees, so this angle is also 50 degrees so the problem now becomes much 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 easier just by looking at this free body diagram you can tell that the sum of the forces in the y is equal to zero so the y component of this is nc negative actually sine of 50 degrees plus 125 is equal to zero so if you solve for NC, you get that NC is equal to 163.2 Newtons. Now you know that the sum of the forces in the X is also equal to zero. Now you know that the X component of this NC is NC cosine of 50 negative plus NB and this 125 Newton force has no X component. So this is zero. But you know NC already to be 163.2 cosine of 50 plus NB is equal to 0. So when you solve for MB, you get that MB is equal to 104.9 Newtons. Final answer, final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.